up close outfit. Oh, look at the white shoes. Look at the white shoes. Oh, zoom back. Look back in it. Hey guys, so we're just gonna jump right into it to prime and moisturize my face. I'm using Ole Henriksen Truth Banana Bright Face Primer. This is really good stuff. It makes you glow from within. I love it. And then as my foundation, I'm gonna be using Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation. It has an SPF of 15 and I'm in the shade Golden Almond 6.75. And I'm just going to dot this all over my face and blend it in. And what I love about this foundation is that it's super lightweight. Obviously, it has SPF, which is amazing for your skin. And I just love the way it gives me that natural glow. So for my concealer, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way multi use Sculpting Concealer and I'm in the shade Chestnut and I love this. It's super full coverage and it just makes your under eye look really, really good. So I've been using this all the time, like every single day or every time I put on makeup and I'm also just sculpting around my eyebrows and highlighting all, you know, those high points. So for my contour, I'm using Fenty's Matchstick in Espresso, and I love this because it just brings so much more color and like definition to your face. So I'm trying to chisel these cheeks and you know my face and all that. So yeah, I'm just gonna take a brush and then kind of just work it in. I'm kind of brushing upwards just so the contour doesn't go too low. But yeah, obviously the key is blending. So once that's done, I'm just going to blend out my concealer and I'm just going to use a wet beauty blender to do this and I'm just going to go ham and do all these crazy things with my eyes because I don't know what's going on y'all. I look so beat when I do, beat as in ugly, when I do my makeup. But anyways, we are just going to blend, blend, pat, pat, cap, cap. <laughs> And then for my eyebrows, I'm using this smaller brush. I have no idea what it is, where it's from, what it's called. But I'm just using this to blend out the highlight underneath my eyebrows. And this is just going to really make it nice and defined. I usually don't do this unless like I'm going somewhere and your girl is going to a wedding. So yeah, I'm trying to look my best. So to set my highlighted areas, I'm using the Laura Mercier setting powder. I think this is in deep dark or deep or something like that. And I'm just um, packing it into my face. I don't like to bake or anything like that. I just set it and that's it because I don't really like that cakey kind of look. So yeah, just setting my face and I love this stuff. It just kind of smooths your skin out and it just looks really good. Okay, so now onto bronzer. I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in mahogany. So this kind of has like a red undertone and I'm just using it to set my um, cream contour and just warm my face up a little bit because I like to look really bronzed and tanned and all that when I do my makeup. Okay, so now to clean up this contour and just carve out my cheekbones a little bit, I'm using a little bit more of the Laura Mercier powder and just dragging it right under the contour. And this is just gonna really give me those chiseled cheekbones. Okay, y'all, so onto the eyes. I am not really good at this, but you know, we're gonna work with it. I'm using this Makeup Forever kit that I actually made myself. And I'm using like this, I guess, burgundy kind of brown brick color. And I'm just kind of building it up until I'm happy with how it looks. So next I'm using this Bobbi Brown palette. I can't remember what it's called. I will link it down below. And I'm using this darker shade in my outer V just to, you know, further give it some depth and all of that. And then I'm going back into the palette and then I'm using this kind of pink, orangey kind of sparkly color right here. And I don't know how I feel about this shade just because I thought it was super like glittery. 
didn't come out how I thought it would, but it came out cute, you know, overall. So I'm just packing that on my lid. And then I'm going into this orange shade in uh, this Smashbox palette. And I'm blending that into my crease as well, just to bring some orange into this look because my dress is, it's kind of like a burnt orange. So yeah, that is pretty much my eye look. So now I'm just gonna dust off this excess powder. And then I'm gonna add some blush. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio in Berry Adore. So of course I do have to apply my wing eyeliner. I do this all the time. And this is the NYX Liquid Eyeliner Pen. And I love this stuff. It's super affordable and it's nice and black. And then onto my favorite part, I am highlighting with the It's My Ray Ray palette from BH Cosmetic. And I'm using both of those highlighting shades and mixing them together and just applying on the highest part of my cheekbones. And this is my favorite highlighter. It gives me an amazing glow, like from within. I look so bronze when I wear it and I get so many compliments when I do. So just applying that to my nose, cheekbones, and all of that, like, your girl is popping. Oh yeah, and my eyebrows. Well, underneath my brow bone as well so we are going back into that orange color now and I'm applying it underneath my lash line just to kind of tie in the look because I felt it kind of looked kind of bare and then I'm also gonna put a gold kind of shade into my inner tear duct and then I'm going to set my face with Mac fix plus and also urban decay all-nighter setting spray you cannot have enough setting spray I love setting spray it just makes me look super dewy and it takes away that powdery look so onto the lips, I'm using three different lip products. I'm using a dark brown lip liner. This is from NYX. It's just, I don't know, it's just a dark brown lip liner. You can honestly use any dark brown lip liner. And then as my lip color, I'm using NYX Super Quickie Matte Lipstick in the shade Conform. Absolute favorite combo, along with Fenty Beauty's Gloss Balm in Diamond Milk. And then I'm just going to apply some mascara to my bottom lashes. Totally forgot about that. And that is pretty much the final makeup look. But now we gotta move on to my hair. So I was honestly in a rush for this wedding. We had about, I think an hour to get ready, which is not a lot of time for me. So I'm just kind of winging this hairstyle and it actually came out pretty good. So I just took some pieces down in the front and then put my hair into this kind of messy bun if I'm being honest. And then I'm just kind of taking the extra pieces of hair and wrapping it around each other and then kind of slicking my hair up with some edge control and getting my baby hairs as well i'm trying to make it look as neat as possible but your girl tried <laughs> and then to kind of finish off this look i'm wearing these bomb ass earrings from pretty little thing i think and it just set the whole look off so that is pretty much the final makeup look and you guys will see in the next clip where i got my dress from and how it looks all together i like to fight a little dirty baby 